All right, so I'll be doing the radio at Seneca York. I'm just going to do the recording and start with it. Okay. Good afternoon. It is 10 Celsius, mostly cloudy. I'm Cassandra Anderson saying news. After Tory has already stated that he would resign from his position to be mayor of Toronto after admitting to having an affair with a staff member, Doug Ford made a comment saying that this is the worst time to have a new leadership change. Ford's making his announcement in Brampton saying his concerns about getting a lefty mayor would be a disaster for the city. Ford has gone on to state that the great job Tory has already done within the city community, such as expanding the city's transit system. Ford is asking that the public does not get upset over personal matters and that he has taken personal responsibility to his mistakes. Toronto Police has updated the pharmacy robbery. Here is Seneca reporter Haisa Kavakatsi with the report. A passenger who dangerously got on the GO train who ended up riding on the side of the train earlier this month, Shell Pepin, who was a witness to the incident, stated how she saw the man was on the other side of the train. While the doors were closing in, the man clung onto the ledge to get a grip. Metro Lynx made a statement due to the Customer Protective Services team that they will be putting an investigation after this incident. Michael Jordan decided to celebrate his 60th birthday this year by graciously donating $10 million to Make-A-Wish. This was the largest donation that Make-A-Wish has received since the organization's 43-year history. Jordan has made partners with Make-A-Wish for 32 years, and he hopes to inspire other people to be helpful with children's wishes. Halton District School Board might have a dress code for the staff. This was prompted by images of an Oakville teacher wearing prosthetic breasts that went viral online back in September. After multiple complaints and concerns by parents, the board ordered its Director of Education to make a report on whether to make a decision or not on having the staff to have a dress code. There will be a meeting at HDSB tonight. Feeling and looking like it is spring today while it is 10 Celsius, but feeling more like a seven, mostly cloudy with sunny breaks with 28 kilometers per hour with 62% of humidity with 37 kilometers per hour wind gust. Well, that is all today with the news. For now, I am Cassandra Anderson, Radio News. And that's it. And as of right now, oh, I don't think I can turn it, but I'll turn it this way. As you can see, I have everything recorded. And I'm going to name it the time for 2 o'clock, 200 p.m. Cassandra Anderson. So I, I did it in here, changing it, and then I right click, dispatch for 2 p.m. Okay. And then it gets dispatched, and that's how that works when I'm doing the radio. And I'll be doing the um, 4 o'clock. Yes, I believe, four, no, the 5 o'clock. So within the um, two hour time frame or something like that. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, bye.